mean, incredibly enough, this is something I only recently learned, but there's a particular type of midge that only feeds on the cocoa plant, so for chocolate. So without midges, without these kind of pollinators, we wouldn't have chocolate, which blows my mind. When we think about pollinators, we often think, oh, bees, yes, butterflies, yes, but then we've got beetles, moths, hoverflies, midges, mosquitoes, all these little tiny invertebrates are performing a real tangible service for us 24-7, 365 days a year, and we benefit directly from it. Through the Great Manchester Wetlands Partnership, we've been able to restore and enhance degraded habitats throughout the carbon landscape, which is Wigan, Salford and Warrington. Working on a landscape scale is now looking at the wider picture. We're looking to create more sites to create more connectivity between these sites. The work specifically here at New Moss Wood has included reinstating a lowland raised bog habitat that hasn't been seen here for over 150 years. This work is really important because we've actually been able to create a stepping stone habitat between two larger mosslands. Some of the plant species that you'll find a lowland raised peat bog are typically things like, like this stuff, this is common cotton grass. And we also have hair tail cotton grass. Some of the species that rely on hair tail cotton grass, for example, is the Manchester Argus butterfly, so another pollinator. So they're very key for this particular habitat and they provide the kind of cover that you're seeing around me for the wonderful stuff that is sphagnum moss, uh, which is what we would describe as the building block of a bog. It's basically peat before it turns into peat. We've disturbed soils throughout the site and reawoken a seed bank that we didn't realise existed. At different times of year you've got different species coming through, so early in the season like now you've got this cow parsley and all these buttercups. A little bit later on you've got rare plants such as the large flowered hemp nettle. So these plants have created these amazing wildflower bee lines uh, which are not only great for bees themselves but other pollinator species. I love walking through these, uh, these wildflower rides. It just feels great to be out in a wild place um, in such an urban area. <laughs>